everyone how are you doing i hope you are all listening to my lesson my lovely students in the previous lesson we are studied about atmosphere and air pressure atmosphere the layer of air that surrounds our planet is called the atmosphere or another definition about atmosphere the layer of air that surrounds our the surrounds earth the layer of air that surrounds earth is called atmosphere in this subject have two questions question one how to form of the atmosphere the answer of this question is that it formed billions of years ago as gases from erupting volcanoes collect around the planet another question about this subject question two what is the made up of of the atmosphere what is the made up of the atmosphere the atmosphere is made up of millions and millions of gas particles number one almost a four fifth a fifth of these gas particles are nitrogen and oxygen number two one fifth of the atmosphere other gases including carbon dioxide and water vapor but air pressure what is the air pressure air pressure all particles of air pressing down on the surface cause air pressure at the surface of Earth, air particles are close together. The higher you go in the atmosphere, the farther apart for uh, the air particles are. So the air pressure is less as you go higher in the atmosphere. Air pressure depends on the density. But now we are studying about this in atmosphere layers, page 122. Earth's atmosphere is divided into four layers. Earth's atmosphere is divided into four layers based on changes in air temperature. Earth's atmosphere is divided into four layers based on changes in air temperature. Please try to focus in this point. Changes in air temperature based on changes in air temperature. The first atmosphere layer is troposphere. What is the troposphere? The layer closest to the Earth is the troposphere. The layer closest to Earth. The, the layer closest to Earth is called troposphere. Troposphere. We live in the troposphere and breathe. It is air. Almost all weather happens in this layer. In the troposphere, air temperature decreases as you go higher. Do you remember I asked this question before? Which is the atmosphere layer to the closest to Earth? Which is atmosphere layer closest to Earth? You can you can tell me troposphere. Or another question, do you remember which is layer? Which is layer weathering happens? You can tell me troposphere. Almost weathering happens in this troposphere layer. And this layer closest to the Earth. Another layer, next troposphere, it comes stratosphere. Stratosphere, what is the stratosphere? Some airplanes that travel long distances fly in the stratosphere. Fly, airplanes. Some airplanes that travel long distances, long distance. Long distance fly in the stratosphere. To be above most bad weather, the stratosphere contains most of the atmosphere's ozone. The stratosphere contains most of the atmosphere's ozone. Contains ozone. Stratosphere contains ozone layer. What is the ozone? Is a kind of oxygen. Ozone is a kind of oxygen. Do you remember? 
ozone is a kind of oxygen. Do you remember this question about ozone? How does the ozone protect its living things? How does the ozone protect its living things? Do you remember? You can say the ozone protects its living things from the sun's harmful rays. The ozone protects living things from the sun's harmful rays. Please try to pay attention to this point. Is very important. The ozone protect is leaving things from the sun's harmful rays. Temperature in the stratosphere increase with height in the mesosphere. Another stratosphere, another layer, sorry, another, uh, another atmosphere layer, mesosphere. Next stratosphere, it becomes mesosphere. What is the mesosphere? Mesosphere is the coldest layer of the atmosphere is the coldest layer of the atmosphere mesosphere is the coldest layer of the atmosphere after mesosphere it comes thermosphere thermosphere what is the thermosphere is the hot outermost layer of air is the hot outermost layer of air what is the difference between mesosphere and thermosphere? Mesosphere is the coldest layer of the atmosphere, but the thermosphere is the hottest layer of the atmosphere. Question, what are the four layers of the atmosphere? Please watch this video about atmosphere layers. Air would only be about as thick as an eggshell. Don't start with food analogies. I'm getting hungry again. My point is that our atmosphere, as thin as it is, can still be broken down into four main layers. Examples, please. Okay, we live in the troposphere, the layer closest to Earth. The troposphere goes up about 12 kilometers, which is about seven miles. All the Earth's weather occurs here. The next layer up is the stratosphere. At the very bottom of this layer are very strong winds that blow eastward. This is called the jet stream. When large planes fly from west to east, they often hop into the jet stream. That extra push of wind from behind allows them to fly faster. Ooh. Also in the stratosphere is the ozone layer. Ozone is a special kind of oxygen that absorbs most of the sun's harmful radiation, like ultraviolet rays, which cause sunburn. Without the protection of the ozone layer, few living things could survive on Earth. Scientists have discovered a hole in the ozone layer over the South Pole. They're concerned that certain chemicals such as chlorofluorocarbons or CFCs from aerosol sprays and refrigerators may have caused this. Bummer. If the hole gets any larger, that means more radiation will reach Earth and there could be potential problems for the future. So it's really important for us all to keep our atmosphere healthy. Important stuff. Okay. So you've got the troposphere and the stratosphere. Any other spheres? Sure, the mesosphere, the next layer up. It's the coldest region of the atmosphere, around minus 100 degrees Celsius. That's minus 148 degrees Fahrenheit. Unmanned balloons are often sent up to measure the temperatures of this layer. The mesosphere protects Earth from large rock-like objects from space called meteoroids. When meteoroids enter, the friction between the meteoroid and the mesosphere causes most meteoroids to burn up. Yo! Hot stuff! Have you ever seen a shooting star? A streak of light in the night sky? If so, did you know you weren't really seeing a star? Instead, you are witnessing a meteor burning up in the mesosphere. Occasionally, large numbers of meteors enter the Earth's atmosphere and burn up, all at the same time. This is called a meteor shower. It's a great show, and you don't even need a telescope to see it. The thickest layer in the atmosphere is called the thermosphere. It starts at about 80 kilometers above the surface. 
or 50 miles. Here, the ultraviolet radiation from the sun turns to heat and causes the air to be very hot, up to 1,500 degrees Celsius or more. Now scientists break the thermosphere down into two more layers. Sneaky little devils, aren't they? What's so sneaky about calling the lower part of the thermosphere the ionosphere? I don't know. Why do they call it that? Because when the sun's radiation reaches this layer, the particles become electrically charged or ionized. Aha! Ionized! Ionosphere! Very clever! These electrically charged particles can cause the sky to glow. This is called an aurora. In the northern hemisphere, these glowing particles are also called the northern lights. The upper part of the thermosphere is called the exosphere.